Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Frank Menard with the Menard Team Coaching and we are powered by the foundational principles of the Napoleon Hill Institute. So today's video, we're gonna be talking about something that I feel is really, really important at this time of year. Well, what time of year is it, Frank? Well, it's the 15th of October. So we're two weeks into the fourth quarter of our year. And this is the time of year where I, where I, I personally reflect back on where am I in regard to the goals that I set for 2024? And what do I want to achieve as I'm moving forward into the new year? I recommend all my clients to do the same. Reflect, where are you? Where do I want to go, right? Great questions. And I do that by following a process that I call GPS. Goal, plan, schedule. So the first word is goal. So that means we need to identify what is it that I want? And I, that's always the first question. What do you want? Fix your mind on exactly what it is that you want to accomplish for the next year. Hey, it doesn't have to be money. It could be increasing a certain amount of business. That's fine. Money, that's fine. It could be personal fitness. That's fine. It could be a family goal. Maybe you want to take your family on a four-week vacation around the world or whatever it is. Identify specifically exactly what it is that you want. And then you want to start to build the fire. You know, once you once you've identified what you want, a lot of people, I, I, I don't use a vision board, so to speak. I visualize in my mind what it is that it, it's going to look like when I've achieved my goal. So I'm getting excited. I'm getting fired up about it. So that's one of the things that you want to do. You want to create a burning desire, almost to the point where it becomes a burning obsession. Every day you wake up energized, excited to do the things you have to do to achieve the goal that you set for yourself. Really, really important. So... Fix your mind on exactly what you want. What do you intend to do to get it? I call that paying the price. Once you've identified what you want, do, are you willing to put forth the effort, pay the price, so to speak, to achieve it? Once you've agreed on what you want and you've committed to pay the price, I am willing to do what it's going to take to get me there. Now you're on track. You start moving, right? So the next thing you want to do when do I want to achieve this goal? What's the specific date that I'm going to achieve whatever it is that I said I wanted to do? So we have to be very specific with a deadline, right? Number four, now we got to create the plan. We know what we want. That's where we want to go. We know that we're willing to do whatever it takes to get there. That's paying the price. All right, let's lay out the plan. That's the blueprint. So G was the goal. P is the plan. What do you have to do to get there? Now we're talking about the, all the action steps. If it's increasing your business, how many more phone calls do you need to make? How many more presentations do you need to do? You know, whatever that looks like. Uh, for me with my marathon, how many miles are you willing to run? You know, what's your training plan going to look like? You know, and that's paying a price. The pay, price in that case is pain. You know, sometimes it hurts. But figure out what it is that you're willing to do and then put it in writing. So create your plan. Once you've got your plan in place, now here's what I want you to do. I want you to take a look at your daily action steps. What are the daily action steps that relate to your plan? And let's get into action. Let's not wait until it's perfect. Let's not wait until we're ready to do it or that we, you know, perfection is going to kill us. It just paralyzes us. Just get into action. Don't wait for it to be perfect. Here's just something that will help out. And actually, Napoleon Hill talks about this in his book. Once you've got all that stuff put together, I want you to write out just a written statement, maybe a couple of paragraphs or maybe just one paragraph that concisely describes what your vision, your goal is. So my goal in my coaching business is to inspire, to positively impact the lives of others. And I do that by helping individuals identify and achieve their personal and professional goals. That's my goal statement. So use that as an example. What is it that you are focused on doing and how are you doing it? How are you getting there? It's really, really important that you write this out. I have it in a, in a portfolio that I carry with me on my desk every single day. And I read that statement. Here's the last step. I read that statement twice a day. Actually, if I'm being really honest with you right now, you just heard me verbalize that statement. I've been saying that statement every day, twice a day for this entire year, beginning in January when I set my goals. At some point, you don't need to read it anymore. It just, it's memorized. 
So every morning when I wake up, I make that same statement. And every evening before I go to bed, I make that same statement and then I go to sleep. So what are the steps? You want to achieve your goals first, identify what you want, fix it in your mind clearly, create a burning desire, identify what it is that you have to do to accomplish it and commit to doing whatever it takes, create a definite plan of action, do it now, start action now, don't wait, write out a clear, concise statement of your goal and read it or speak it verbally out loud at least twice a day. I recommend once in the morning, once in the evening. That's the six step process that Napoleon Hill recommends in his most famous book, Think and Grow Rich. As I've said to myself, I'll say to you today, folks, setting and achieving goals is not brain surgery. This is not a hard thing to do. Follow the steps as I've described them in this video, and you too will achieve your goals for 2025. And look, if you need some help putting going through this process or, or doing it, here's what I'm going to offer today. If you're watching this video today, in the remarks section down below, go ahead and reply back. Tell me what you think about the video. And if you would like to schedule an appointment for us to get together via Zoom, we'll have a one-to-one -one conversation absolutely free. And I'll walk you through the steps that I just presented on the video to help you set your goals for next year. Remember, GPS. Goal, plan, schedule the activities, All right? So with that, I want to say I hope you have a great week, and I want to remind you that uh, I would love it if you share this video with somebody that it could be of service to. Uh, give me a like if you wouldn't mind. That would be great. Gives me some feedback. And by the way, leave some feedback down in the remarks section of some of the topics that you'd like me to talk about moving forward. And last but not least, please subscribe uh, so you don't miss any of my videos. Uh, we're almost, uh, you know, we're 75% through the year, and I have achieved my goal so far of presenting an inspirational video each and every week of 2024, and I want to continue doing that to serve you the best way I can because my mission is to inspire, to positively impact the lives of others. And I do that by helping individuals identify and achieve their personal and professional goals. And by the way, if you'd like to investigate the other services that I provide with my coaching services, please Click the, uh, the link below uh, in the remarks section, themenardteam.com. That will bring you to my landing page where you can send me an email or you can schedule an appointment for, for a free uh, exploratory conversation to figure out if coaching with me is a good opportunity to help you get to where you want to go. All the best. Hope you're enjoying the fourth quarter of the year. Let's get out there and get some. We'll talk to you later. Have a great day, guys.